arise and shine <clears throat> today is that day guys finally i am going to be reunited with my family and so um yeah let me just say finally we found a plane obviously there are no flights traveling at this moment so we were just lucky to find this one and my more than 24 hours journey begins today today so in the next not so long so i need to get ready and i've already packed my bags they're already outside in the car um yeah so i just need to finish up what i'm doing getting ready getting rid of this and yeah we start the journey there we go nothing much just a bit of concealer under my eyes and a bit of brows even though hmm, they look weird um we still have to wear masks it's compulsory here in kenya so i'm even going to rub off some of this lipstick but this is how that's how that looks this home has hosted me for the good part of the last few months so grateful mama you have to put this here <laughs> ah! Mommy, no. <laughs> Just, no? At your taki, you have to. Where is that? you not know you're not telling me to ask. Jasmine, you not know coronavirus. Jasmine, Jasmine, you coronavirus. It's getting real. It's not getting real. <laughs> it's not getting real. Oh my goodness. Jasmine, I'm going to go to the Oh, well done. Now you are good. Smart. Nice. You see? Remember, guys, I told you in the last vlog that uh, there are several counties that are on lockdown. So we are locked out. So this is the area where we have to prove that we have permission to pass or rather enter Nairobi metropolitan area. Okay, I sent you. Good day. Mm. 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 So finally we have gotten to pass the roadblock. There is uh, the roadblock on both sides of the of the road, of course. Uh, getting into Nairobi metropolitan area and uh getting out of it okay because there should not be movement in and out of that county or the metropolitan area these are the measures that the ministry of health and the government put in place in order to um, contain the contagious virus nairobi was the first county to experience the coronavirus I'm so excited. We just passed the police control and I thought they were going to um, have issues with us because the permit I have is just for my mom. 
but <laughs> and we have the di driver but he was allowed to so mm -hmm. Assistant da oben. Hier. Oh, so mach mal zu. Mach mal zu. Just in case you're wondering where I got the permit to pass the roadblock from. So you have several options. You can either go to the chief of your area or you can, uh, what I did personally is uh, once I booked, I got to book the flight, I contacted the, my, the German embassy in Nairobi uh, because they were offering to send us um, an email with a letter allowing us to pass through a on the way to the airport so that is what you can do apart from that in case you're not feeling well and your doctor refers you to a uh, another hospital that is um that where you have to pass the roadblock that is now um how you can also get that through a doctor's recommendation to go to a certain hospital that is not in your county or something of the sort I was really shocked to see how many people are still walking around Nairobi town and how many vehicles are actually in the city. It's seriously, um, it's poor, mind-blowing. Still too many people on the road. I have literally never ever seen Jomo Kenyatta International Airport is empty it looks like we are um, just among the first people arriving here at the airport usually what you do right here is you get out of the car and then you pass by the security for body check and stuff but we were just led to pass by plus the child was sleeping so I guess the guard just had mercy on us Never have I ever arrived at the airport three hours before the time of the flight. Guys, I was eager to get this on this plane. There's literally almost nobody at the airport. It's, it looks like, in comparison, looks very, very empty. So we are camping here for lunch as we wait for my time to enter. Um, the departure section. Okay. No, don't fall down. So, guys, we I have been cleared to travel. Like the passports have been cleared and stuff. So we headed to the gate and we're supposed to be at the boarding gate by 3.30. There's nothing, literally nothing going on, like nothing. 
they only have one flight heading out today which is the one we're taking now the Qatar yeah this was not the usual commercial flight that we have this was a flight organized uh, to return people to where they live or rather yes the citizens to where they live um, and it had on board people from different places so we just headed to, to Doha and then from there people are going to dispatch to different uh, flights to different countries and I am so grateful uh, to Qatar Airways for accepting this huge risk because it's it's still risky at the moment to travel so I, I'm really just Hi. so grateful Yay! The time in Kenya was amazing. My daughter can now speak all three languages but understands four. That's like amazing. I speak to her in all four languages. Actually, that's good. Can you just hear this right now? Yeah. Uh, although it's really baggage, would you like to see this? Uh, I have to check what I need first. Thank you. As you can see from the size of the aircraft, so many people were stranded here. It's literally an airbus, and I believe it's full. Mm -hmm. It's really crazy. I am so grateful to be able to travel back you guys can't even imagine I mean it's not it was amazing being here but the time to go back is now or then if I don't go now I might not be able to travel again until until end of year you know that's just them um, the fact that's just the fact to be honest so I'm really really thankful for this chance and it might have been my last one because even finding this uh, flight was a hassle in itself The flight was around 5 hours and 45 minutes, uh, close to 6 hours, but it was very comfortable. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.